What is up you guys, I'm TransferFacts and today I'm going to do a real quick CC to oh my god, CC tutorial for you guys. So a lot of people have been asking me uh, about this lately and I did do a like goal for it and I got uh, 100 likes. So basically, I'm going to do the CC tutorial right now. So basically, we're going to start out with subject, we're going to go to tools, we're going to grab pop. Uh, and then my settings are 25 and 70. You guys can tell if you look closely in the text. Uh, it adds a bit of brightness slash contrast to the text and also the background but it's hard to notice on the background mainly the text so now let's go back to tools we're going to go to uh uh not curves we're going to get contrast and uh we're going to put the contrast to 0 0.1 or a little bit more if you want just experiment with it i recommend not putting too much because we're going at the end we're going to have a log contrast uh, so yeah, now after you guys add uh, 0 0.1 or you just mess with the settings if it looks a little bit too dark or too light, uh, looks fine for me right now. So we're going to go with exposure now. So at the beginning, I usually put it to negative uh, 0 0.2. Uh, if at the end, if it's too dark, I usually bring it up, but if it's just right, I'll just leave it. So at the beginning, I just leave it to negative 0 0.2. So let's see what I need next. Uh, um, okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get crush. And if guys don't know what crush does, if we put it like all the way to blue, change the whole thing to blue. So basically, let me put that back to normal. So basically, if your main color is blue on your uh, intro, then put it to a full blue like this uh i'm gonna go with the light blue because it looks kind of better and if you guys can tell you guys cannot see anything so we're gonna bring this down by a lot um i'm going to move that to a full blue actually that's a little bit too much now yeah it looks pretty good uh if you guys can tell it adds a bit of blue on the background and the text or whatever color you chose uh, I really like that effect. Now we are done with subject. We're going to mat now. Let's uh, use light flex. So basically, at first, kind of looks like a lot. So uh, drag the circle thing to your main color. Mine is about a kind of lightish, darkish blue. And then I'm going to lower it down a bit, maybe around right there. And the boost I usually put to like negative six point five or a little bit lower if I have to. Uh, negative 7 would work. Uh, now we add a diffusion. If it, uh, at the end, if it's too much, now I can just easily just lower it down. But right now it looks fine. Now for the diffusion, I'm going to put it to maybe like 68 and grade to like 4.5. I usually bring up the glow a bit. Uh, bring up the highlight only to 90 bring down the highlight blast to negative 1 and I bring this to a to your main color basically so if you guys can tell it adds a bit of a glow on the text um, and um, cool effect now we're going to add another diffusion but for this one we're going to bring this up to 6 the grade glow 100 again uh, just leave everything else go to highlight blast and put this to negative 0 0.5 so now we put this back to your main color but a darker version of it so if you guys can tell it adds like a little circle it's hard to see but I can see it fine but it adds a little circle around the text and that's the diffusion and it also adds a little glow on the text uh, if it's a little bit too much then just bring down the grade Uh, just a uh, personal preference now. I'm just gonna put it to 3.5 Yeah, that's good um, Now after you guys do that, I'm going to add a not gradient <laughs> um, a color filter so uh, At default, it's gonna put it to an orange kind of color. So put all the way to your main colors It's kind of the same thing like crush, but little a lot different kind of so put it to your main color that's around my main color. Then lower down the uh, blue or whatever color. That's a little bit too much, to be honest. Uh, 
As guys can tell, it adds a bit of your main color on the background and the text. We add just enough. Yeah. So I can see that fine. Now uh, we going to add warm slash cool. I'm going to bring up. Uh, I don't really mess with the circle because yeah, it's hard to control. I usually mess with the warm slash cool and the tint. Uh, if you bring it up, it goes closer to green. If you bring it down, it gets closer to the pinkish reddish and warm slash cool. More to the positives, it is a um, blue. More to the negative, it is a red. So my intro is basically a blue kind of color. So we're going to put it to the positive. So I actually put it to like 0 0.1. Um, you guys can tell it adds more of your main color. Just like a color filter, but it's more in a way better. So I'm gonna bring this down a bit and crush a bit there. Uh, so now we're gonna go to lens. So I usually add a vignette. Um, just use these circles that right here. Just use the circles uh, to move it around. Uh, but that looks pretty good right there. I'm kind of liking that. So now we're going to add a bit of edge softness. So again, just move the circle i usually mess with the spread first and then mess with the radius let's see uh that looks good now put the blur size to one and put the um and just yeah we're done with edge softness now now we're going to add a lens distortion i usually i mainly don't really use this that much but for tutorial purposes i'll use it so basically distortion we're going to put it to negative uh 10. yeah i'm i'm kind of liking that um so if you guys can tell if we add more negatives it, it just stretches this out stretch oh my god stretches it out and um if we put two positives it just zooms it in so, uh, I like negative. I like negative ten the best. Uh, actually, let me see negative five. Um, yeah, that 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 also looks pretty good. I'm just gonna. That looks pretty good. Now, um, I'm gonna add a chromatic aberration. I'm going to red slash cyan. Put it to negative zero point two five. Uh. At a human's eye, you don't see much, but if you zoom in, you just see this red kind of outline. It's basically from that, and uh, for me, I can, uh, in some intros, I can see this, but I kind of just like this, to be honest. Uh, you can just mess with the settings, of course. So, like, you can add more of it like this, but yeah, I kind of like this. Um, so, basically, yeah. So now we are done with that. We're going to add a anamorphic flare. And my settings are threshold is 0 0.2. Uh, boost is actually no, I messed with the size. Size is like 68. And uh, boost is like negative 3. Now I'll put this to your main color, of course. If you can't see it that well, just bring down the threshold. You probably see it better. Or bring up the boost. Let's see what's up. Um, can't see it that well. Let's see. Uh, zero point one. That's a little bit too much. Zero point minus 0 0.1 minus 1 uh, I'm going to bring this down a bit actually uh, just mess with the settings uh, just make just make it look somewhat nice I'm kind of liking this right now so basically after you guys have that I'm going to bring this up by maybe negative ok that looks good it's like just like it's hard to decide sometimes, but just yeah, just mess with the settings. So basically, after you guys do with that, uh, after you guys finish with that, we're going to add 
I, we're going to camera now, I believe. So basically, uh, the only thing I really do in here, I think, is these. What's this? Um. Oh yeah, I sometimes add color reversal. <laughs> I'm totally not making this up, but uh, if you guys can tell, if you bring it all the way up, it makes it darker. Put it all the way down, it's uh, basically it's uh, brighter. So basically, I'm gonna bring it to like a 25. And range saturation while I'm there. Um, uh, this is why I usually start with 170, 125, and 90. That's the settings that I usually start with, and sometimes it's a little bit too overkill, so uh, you know I have to lower it down sometimes. So, oh, the highlights way too high there. <laughs> Uh, let me put back the default. I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, okay, that's default. You guys can tell it adds a blue on more of a blue on the text. Uh, mid tone. Let's bring this down a bit. And one fifteen. Uh, I'm kind of liking that actually. That looks pretty good. Um, so now after we finish with that, we're going to go. We're finished with the camera now. We're going to post. So with post, I grab a basic film. And uh, in the, I believe in the newer version of Magic Bullets, they don't have S curve. But if you do have S curve, make sure you guys get that. You get color ranges. So after you guys get all three of these, it should look really too much contrast. So go on basic film and bring it, the, bring down the contrast and the game of space to your preferable settings. Uh, if you guys don't have settings, then just mess with it. Uh, I think the pigment's a little bit too much. Um, 0.25 okay yeah I'm just gonna put this back to the normal uh, that is actually looking pretty nice now actually 0 0.3 0.5 actually so 1.7 uh, mm. Okay, we're done with that. We just messed with the settings. Uh, you'll eventually find something that you like. So after you guys do that, we're going to get. Uh, we're going to go to S curves now. Uh, the only thing I messed in here is the contrast. So just mess with it. Uh, I'm kind of liking zero point. I think eight would work. Um, it's different on most of my intros. So best can tell it has a, a lot of contrast. Now on color ranges, for a highlight, I mainly always use yellow because it adds a cool effect on the text if you use yellow just my uh, opinion now for midtone just put it to your main color mine's a bluish kind of color and for uh, shadow go back to color fil uh, filter and use the same color that you have in here so that's like a blue about right here I guess yeah right there and just lower that down by quite a bit and um yeah that's pretty good to be honest uh so i think that's it for the tutorial right now i uh, hope you guys do enjoy the cc we have one three five ten eighteen and nineteen so we have nineteen cc's in here uh or nineteen like things i don't know how to like call these things um but yeah, basically, hope you guys do enjoy the CC. I had a lot of uh, people saying I should make a CC tutorial. So, if you guys do like the CC, if you guys do, um, if I figure out, if I figure out how to like put the CC into, I'll just there, okay, there, CC tut, uh, tut one. So I will attempt. I don't like. Okay, I'll try to. Uh, give you guys the CC um, if I can't then sorry but uh, if I do then check the comments because I'll probably give you guys the CC in there but um, basically yeah uh, you guys can do a lot of stuff with CC and stuff but anyways if you guys do enjoy this tutorial I mean this tutorial if you guys do make sure you guys do leave like that's off me out and yeah hope you guys enjoy and peace out oh.